championship. Here they are in front of you. The Dallas Renegades are currently the favorites to raise that championship trophy. They're sitting there at plus 300. With the New York Guardians, Los Angeles Wildcats not too far behind there. Then the odds for the other teams on the screen as well. So let's get around the horn here, get one more time everybody's pick. Ed, I'm coming back to you here first. Who's winning the XFL championship in April? At some point, Landry Jones will return to the Dallas Renegades. And if I recall correctly, I do believe that he and Bob Stoops had some magic at Oklahoma as one of the better offenses in all of college football. Add to that Howell Mummy, and that offense will be dynamite. And also don't sleep on the second running back, Lance Dunbar. He was versatile with the Dallas Cowboys, and I feel like Stoops will do some creative things with him as well. I like the Renegades to win it all. I'm going to go with an underdog here, and that is the Houston Roughnecks. One of the bigger prices here at plus 900. I think they get off to a hot start, win their first two games, and we'll see if uh, June Jones can take them the rest of the way. Their defense is going to be focused on making some turnovers, getting field position. They have a very good offensive structure. Give me Houston. I'm going to middle both of you guys right here. Ed, you went with kind of a chalky pick as one of the front runners. Dave, maybe a little bit of a stretch there. I'm going to go right in the middle at plus 500 with the Vipers. I told you, I think they're one of the sleeper teams of this league. They've got great skill positions, the running back, the wide receiver, Sammy Coates. And then, of course, I'm very high on Aaron Murray and what he can do with this Vipers team. Give me Tampa Bay.